We're in the coronavirus shutdown right now and the gym is closed so I can't do my normal upper body workout that I like to do. So at first, what I would do is go to a local playground and use a pull-up bar and I could do some of my exercises there. But now, even playgrounds and outdoor exercise equipment have been off limits. So I can't do that. So that's when I started to think, maybe what I need to do is install my own pull-up bar. I checked online and there were different commercial products available, but they're kind of expensive. And when I think about what I want to do, I really need to have an outdoor pull-up bar. So that's when I decided to make my own outdoor pull-up bar. So that's what this video is about. Basically, the three materials that I need are two trees that are spaced the correct amount apart, which I will show you a little bit later. And then I needed a pole and I decided to use bamboo, an easily available material like this because my friend has a bamboo patch. And that would be my pull-up bar. And then the only other thing I needed was some rope. And this is fiber rope and I got it at Walmart. It says Sisal twisted rope, a quarter inch by 100 feet. This cost about $6 and that was my only expense. Here I am standing between the two trees. Unfortunately, on my first attempt, I cut the bamboo a bit too short. I found out that in order to tie the lashings, the bamboo must extend well beyond the outer side of both trees. I had another piece of bamboo, but it was only about an inch in diameter, a little smaller than I wanted. But I went ahead and I tried it anyway. So this was like a trial run. And as you'll see, although the smaller diameter bamboo flexes, bamboo is amazingly strong and it has plenty of strength to support my strength, about 150 pounds. But I prefer less flexure, so it was back to the bamboo patch for a larger diameter piece. Okay, got my bamboo. On my first attempt, I used a one inch diameter bamboo pole like this, which worked, but it was a little bit too flexible. So I decided to go back to the bamboo patch and as you saw in the video, and I cut a one and a half diameter bamboo pole like this. So now that I have a bamboo pole that is in the correct length and the correct diameter, the last key step I have is to lash it to the trees. Sure. I use lashings because I didn't want to use nails or screws in the tree. So next I'm going to use this tree here for demonstration purposes to show how I tied the lashing. But actually the trees I'm going to use to make my pull-up bar actually goes back there. The lashing includes four steps. First, you tie a clove hitch that will anchor one end of the rope to the tree. Then you tie the square lashing around both sides and I'll do like three or four wraps. And then you do what's called the frapping, which tightens up the square lashing on the back side of the tree here. And then you finish off with a clove hitch at the end. So to tie the clove hitch, I'll take the anchor end of the rope, the short end of the rope here. I'll wrap it around like this. And I got to get plenty of length because it's got to wrap around twice. And what I do, it's on top now, but I'll cross it over like this. So I make an X here. Then I'll bring it around the tree again a second time underneath. And hopefully you can see okay. And so now I'll bring it around again. And to tie the clove hitch, I put this loose end of the rope under the X in between the two left legs of the X. That's the clove hitch. Now I will tie the square lashing. So I will take this long end of the rope and tie it around the bamboo pole here. And so you can see why the bamboo pole has to extend beyond the end of the tree. So I wrap it around like that. I pull it pretty secure. Then I will pull the rope around this side and I will wrap it over the top of the bamboo pole on the other side like that. And then I will bring it back now around the bottom of the previous one, wrap it around for a second wrap like this. And then I will wrap it around. So I've done one complete turn so far. Now I'll do the second wrap like this. I done three complete wraps. Then I'll come over here and uh, now 
I will tie what's called the frapping. So, and the frapping is what really secures it. Of course, I'm pulling it tight. Now bring it down like this. And now I'm gonna bring it and wrap the back side of the lashing by going down and I'll go across the back side of the tree and then I'm gonna bring it up over here. Okay, I'll wrap it over like that. You wanna tie it, pull it really, really secure. Same thing here. Frapping, pull the frapping secure. Put it over again. And then I will do another frapping over here. Pull it secure. And then now that I've done two frappings, and then I'll finish up with a clove hitch. So I will bring it around like this. And then you'll make an X. And then I'll bring it around again. So I made the X and then I'll come back through the X like that. And there, that's the complete lashing. Well, I'm done, and here's a close-up of my square lashing on one side. And you can see my handiwork. It is very strong. Well, there it is. I'll demonstrate that it works quite well. That's a belly grinder. Do dips. And then I can do pull-ups, too. I would really recommend if you want to learn how to do a square lash in the correct way, you refer to these two videos which were very helpful for me. Uh, one of them is made by ITS Tactical and it's called Build a Weight Bearing Structure with a Square Lashing. And then there's another one called Survival Know How, that's the channel, and the title of the video is Most Essential Bushcraft Knot, the Square Lashing, and I'll try to include links on, on the comments below. Finally, I have a disclaimer. If you decide to do the same thing, you're going to have to do the research to get the right materials that have enough strength to support you. You're going to have to learn how to tie the lashings correctly so that you can make a safe structure to allow you to do what you want to do. So this was just simply uh, an example of how I did it myself, and maybe it can give you some ideas. So thank you for watching. Bye.